Normally, your new Jenica is preloaded in the snuffer when you receive it, but it's important to know how to install your Jenica in the snuffer. First, you'll need to find a flat and fairly large area, preferably a lawn with a soft grass surface. Find a solid place to tie the head up to. There could be some package straps on the snuffer to be removed. In the snuffer, unscrew the shackle and connect it to the Jenica top ring. Stretch out the Jenica, keeping the luff and leech parallel, and then take hold of the line connected to the snuffer. You are now ready to install the Jenica and the snuffer. By pulling on the line to the funnel, you are now placing the Jenica inside the snuffer. The funnel normally moves past the clue and fully stretched ends above the tack. Remember to let the line attached to the clue come out of the funnel, as this is where you attach your sheets to. Then you can pack the Jenica in the bag. When you pack it, keep the tack and the clue line separated to either side. The top ring of the snuffer is attached to the Velcro strap on the top of the bag and then the bag can be closed. The Jenica is ready to be used. If you know which tack you want to use the Jenica on, you can place the bag on deck before going out to sea. The bag should be placed between the mast and the forestay and attached to the lifelines. Open your sail bag and pull out the tack corner. Take the line from the cockpit forward to the bow. Attach a block and run the line through the block above the lifelines to the tack of the Jenica. Remember to run it outside of the Genoa sheet. Tie the line onto the tack ring with a bowline. Then attach your sheets to the clue line and bring them back to where your Jenica blocks are. Remember to feed the line from the outside of the lifeline to the block. Then Tie a slip knot at the block to prevent the line from falling into the water. The windward sheet goes forward of the forestay. Close the sail bag. To prevent the tack line fouling up at the bow pulpit, tie a rope or a sail tie between the two parts of the pulpit to close the opening. Keep the tack line forward and on top of the tie. The Jenica is now ready to be set. You can handle the Jenica in the snuffer with just two people working together. When you decide to set the Jenica, 
bear off to a running course, roll in the Genoa. Bring the spinnaker halyard forward to the sail bag. Be careful to lead it on the outside of the Genoa sheet. Open the bag, release the snuffer top ring from the Velcro strap and attach the halyard. Release the clue line from the bag and the Genoa is ready to hoist. Use the tack line to pull the tack out of the bag towards the bow, then hoist the snuffer all the way to the top. Pull the line that lifts the funnel. Pull the sheet and the Jenica is flying. Attach the control lines from the snuffer to the center of the deck. They help preventing the Jenica from wrapping around the forestay. Now you can enjoy fast and enjoyable downward sailing. Your North Easy Jenica is made to cover a wide range of downwind sailing. By easing off the tack line, the Jenica lifts and flies to windward so you can sail deeper downwind. By pulling it closer to the bow, you can turn it into an effective reaching sail by stretching the luff and thereby opening the leech. Jibing with the Jenica needs some exercise, but when you get it right, it's an easy maneuver. When you're getting ready to jibe, it's important to keep the Jenica flying full. Check your windward sheet. It's important that it sits on the top of the webbing sheet holder on the luff. Pull your main into the center ready for the jibe. Then you start bearing off. Release the leeward sheet completely. It's important that it runs freely. Jibe the main and start pulling in the new leeward sheet. It's important that the Jenica clue flies well forward to clear its own luff and that the new sheet is pulled in as fast as possible. Try it for the first time in moderate wind conditions so there is enough wind pressure on the Jenica to make it stable. Dousing the Jenica when you want to go upwind, or if there is more wind than you like, it's very easy. First, you release the control lines on the foredeck. Be sure that the lines are on the right side of the forestay. Look up to see if the lines are running direct down from the snuffer. Start pulling the funnel down, choking the Jenica. At the same time, ease off the sheet. When the snuffer funnel is all the way down, release the halyard and lower the Jenica down to the deck. Check the halyard first for kinks, so it runs freely through the blocks. Ease the tack line and stow the Jenica in the sail bag. Remove the halyard, attach the corners of the Jenica to the bag and close the bag. Tighten up your tack line and sheets and now you are ready to unfurl the Genoa and continue sailing. Close the gap on the bow pulpit to prevent the tack line from catching the pulpit. Tie the control line from the snuffer to the boat, preferably to the center of the foredeck. This way the line helps prevent the Jenica from turning round the forestay and it's ready for use. 
Remember to place the windward sheet on top of the sheet holder. The sheet holder prevents the sheet from falling down in front of the boat, thus making it difficult to jibe the Jenica. Sheet in the main before jibing the Jenica, especially with a short-handed crew, as it makes it easier to handle the Jenica sheets. The main can this way jibe by itself. Release the leeward sheet completely. It's important that it runs freely and that the new sheet is pulled in as fast as possible. The adjustable tack line can be used to ease the tack when you are running deep to get the Jenica flying to windward and tightening the tack down when reaching. The tack should also be tightened before jibing to make it easier.